Hi folks. In today's video tutorial, I am going to answer the question to Philip if it is possible to define different thickness on the shell or it is possible to exclude some surfaces from the shell. So quick example, based on the picture, I will create new 3D model and simple extrude here because we need to create only base shape. So doesn't matter what will be really created. And over here, I will create another extrude feature because it was based on the picture from Philip. So only some lines and for example, like this, I will create easy shape with any dimensions. We'll finish and you know that is necessary to select or maybe it's necessary to select a second side. So if you will move the dragger and you will select the shift system will snap automatically to selected references. Okay. I don't want to see any datum planes. And if I will use the control D, it's a default orientation. The system will spin the model as I need. Today we would like to focus on the shell feature. So I will select the shell feature and we will select directly front surface. You can select more with control button and the system will remove the surfaces. If you select control button again, the system will put it back. What does it mean? In reference tab, you can see that system works with the surfaces. So first selected surfaces is this one and the second one is here. So you can see that it's possible to manage which surfaces will be removed. I'd like to explain to you the option tab in the ribbon of the shell, exclude surfaces. And what does it mean? If you would like to exclude some surfaces, select the control button and select the surfaces which will be excluded. Sometimes you need to select both surfaces, not only the left side, but both of them. So I would like to show you that it's possible to select with control button more than one surface. Again, you can manage the remove surfaces. So if you will select more, it's fine. Over here on the right hand side, I'd like to show you that it's possible to define different thickness. So for now we have a constant thickness, for example, three millimeters. Yeah. And you would like to define non default thickness. What does it mean? You can click here in the reference tab, non default thickness and select with control button again, the surface and system will allow to you to define the thickness for the another surfaces. And again, if I will continue with control button, I will select control and surface and the system add additional dimension. So Sometimes if your geometry is not possible to create constant thickness, you can use the shell feature and define non default thickness. Yeah. On the right hand side, or you can specify in option tab, the exclude surfaces and you can select excluded surfaces. In this video tutorial, you have seen how it's possible to manage the shell feature and define different option as the remove surface, exclude surface or define the additional options. Like the video tutorial and stay tuned. Bye bye. Vladimir.